Tudors and Stuarts dynasty. Tudors, 1485-1685, Stuarts, 1603-1714. Tudors. Henry VII. Born in 1457. Reigned from 1485 till 1509. On Lancastrian side during the Wars of the Roses. A series of bloody civil wars between two competing royal families for the throne of England. House of York. House of Lancaster. Founder of the Tudor dynasty, came to throne by defeating King Richard III. Married Elizabeth of York to heal the wounds after the wars. His Welsh heritage helped make the Welsh accept his rule. Wales was conquered by England but there were some resentment. Henry VIII. Born in 1491. Second son of Henry VII. Expected to be a bishop but became the Prince of Wales after his brother, Arthur died. Reigned from 1509 till 1547. Was 17 when he became the king. United Wales and England. His six wives. Catherine of Aragon. Divorced in 1532 after 20 YRS of marriage. Anne Bullen. Gave birth to Elizabeth, had two miscarriages, executed in 1536. Jane Seymour. Gave birth to Edward, died in 1537. Anne of Clovis. Henry instantly disliked her, divorced in 1540. Catherine Howard. 30 years younger than Henry, executed for adultery in 1542. Catherine Parr. Cared for Henry as he fell ill during his last years. Married Jane Seymour's brother. Changed England from Catholic to Protestant. Wanted to marry Anne Bullen and have a son. Expected the Pope, head of Roman Catholic Church to agree on ending his marriage with Queen Catherine, Pope refused. Eventually set up the Protestant Church of England. England, used to be part of Roman Catholic Church for 1,000 years, was separated. Had more power over religion than any previous king. Gave himself a divorce, married Anne. Decide what church services were like. What people should believe in God. How churches were decorated. Held only one parliament between 1515 and 1529. In 1530s, held eight parliaments. Mostly passed laws making religious changes. Closing monasteries. Wars. Dreamed of being a great soldier king like Henry V. Went to war with France several times, always unsuccessful. Most famous event. His ship, the Mary Rose sank. Costed lives and millions of pounds, paid by English taxes. 1530s, about 800 monasteries in England and Wales. Henry closed them used their wealth to pay for his wars and bribe nobles. Two days after Henry became king. Executed two of his father's unpopular advisors. 1530s, Henry executed religious leaders like Richard Whitting and two of the chief advisors who helped him. Sir Thomas More. Thomas Cromwell. 1536, 30,000 people joined a rebellion, called as Pilgrimage of Grace against Henry's religious changes. Henry tricked them and executed all their leaders. Elizabeth I. Born in 1533. Daughter of Henry VIII and Anne Boleyn. Last reign of the Tudor dynasty. Became queen at the death of her half-sister, Mary I, a.k.a. Bloody Mary. Two years old when her mother was executed. No longer princess but only Lady Elizabeth, sent away from court. Kept in prison during Mary's reign. Some Catholics wanted to make Elizabeth's cousin, Mary, Queen of Scots Queen. Pope encouraged Catholics to assassinate her. She had no military power. 1588, Spanish Armada failed attempt to invade England, thanks to Sir Francis Drake and other English commanders. Why did she never marry? Saw how marriage brought disaster to her mother and stepmothers. Mary married King Philip of Spain, 
England pulled into Spain's war with France. Lost the last English possession in France, Calais. Probably wanted to marry Robert Dudley, Earl of Leicester. Who will then rule? Herself or her husband? She was the boss, no one could order her, she didn't have to take special notice of anyone. Inherited a big problem, her brother Edward IV made England more Protestant, Mary made England Catholic again. Mary arrested and burned 284 Protestants as heretics. Elizabeth was Protestant, chose middle ground policy. Won lots of support. By end of her reign, most people were moderately Protestant. Called 13 parliaments in 45 years. Mostly to grant her the taxes she need. Many MPs took chance to ask. Whether to marry. Whether to go to war. Whether to execute Mary, Queen of Scots. All images must be approved by the Queen and her council. Rainbow portrait. Painted in 1602, when she was 68. Latin words meant no rainbow without the sun, rainbow equals peace. Eyes and ears on her dress equals the queen can see and hear everything. The great William Shakespeare wrote and performed for the queen. Massive increase in poor people, the queen and her ministers noted that there were two type of poor people that need to be treated differently. Scroungers who ought to be set for work. Needy people who needed to be looked after passed a poor law that lasted 200 plus years. Stewards. James I, aka James VI of Scotland. Born in 1566. Became King James I when Elizabeth I died and Mary was forced to abdicate. Queen Elizabeth was childless and spouseless. United Scotland and England, 1566-1566. 